What is going on people of the internet? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the easiest way to replace a background in Photoshop. For those of you guys who don't know, my name is Nick Cameron. I'm a photographer from Long Island. And today we're going to be looking at the easiest way to replace backgrounds in Photoshop. Whether you're doing portraits or product photography, if you want to replace a background, this is my way to do it. So we're just going to jump right in. This is a headshot I took last week. Um, the one thing I didn't like about this photo in particular was that just composition wise, I don't like that this bookshelf is going directly into his face. You grab your quick selection tool. All you got to do is hit select subject. Photoshop does the work for you. Let's select and mask. So we're going to grab the refine edge brush tool and change the size a little bit. All you gotta do is just work around the hairline. And as you can see, it fills in the gaps in the background, but also selects the hair that we want. He looks pretty well selected. Let's check out the beard here. Yeah, let's touch it up a little bit more with the refined edge brush down here. As you can see, that's a little too crisp here. So when you replace a background, it could look really fake when you do that. So having it actually feather in with some of the hair or the beard, things like that, it's gonna make it look a little bit more real. So perfect. So now we have our subject selected. We're gonna select inverse. So now selecting everything except our subject. You can either hit edit cut or if you're on a Mac, command X. Boom, background is cut out. All right, so I have added this blue backdrop that I like. I've used it a couple times for product photography. So now we just adjust the size here. Now we're going to put him over that. So as you can see, the edge is a little bit off. So we'll just grab our eraser tool, clean some of that up. I'm just going to add a little blur to the background. The right side of his face is a little darker than the left. So what we'll do is come in here with the brush tool on a new layer above the background. And we're just going to paint in some black at a low opacity. I'm thinking like 10% would probably be good. Use a blend mode to darken. There you have it. A couple steps, easy, quick way to just replace a background in Photoshop. You can use this technique with whatever you want to replace the background for. So like I said, this is not the way to do it, but this is my way to do it. I think this is the easiest way to do it. All right, well, that's it for me today. If you learned anything at all, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be releasing new videos every Wednesday going forward, so look out for those. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.